So you've just completed your home inspection. What to do next? How to respond? Well, that is our topic of conversation next. Hi there, I'm Carrie Ray Davis with Carrie Sells the City. As a real estate broker here in the Northwest with Keller Williams, I aim to provide my clients with valuable information about the ins and the outs of the home buying and selling process. Being a resident here for almost 25 years, I know my way around the Puget Sound better than most people and would love to be your resource, whether you're relocating here or looking for a new neighborhood to live in. Please be sure to check back to my channel every Wednesday and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on what I'm going to share with you next week. In a recent video, we talked about why a home inspection is so important. I thought it wise to follow up with another video to help talk about what happens after your inspection and how you respond. When you're buying a home and you and your agent have been able to negotiate in an inspection contingency into your offer, it's very important to pay attention to the timelines that have been indicated in that inspection contingency. However many days have been notated for your initial inspection timeline, you must respond to the seller by 9 p.m. of the date indicated. For intents of this conversation today, let's say we have a five-day inspection timeline with two additional days requested if we need them, and then the seller has three days to respond to our response, and in turn, we have three days to respond to the seller's response. During our initial five-day inspection timeline, you have five business days to get your inspector in and any potential other vendors that you may need to have get into the home to address anything that you may find. Now, if you opt for more than five days for your inspection timeline, then those days are calendar days and the weekends do count for those days. When it's time to send our response to the sellers, there are four different options in our inspection response that we have choices for. Number one is that our buyer's contingency is satisfied and we're satisfied with what we found and we'd like to keep the transaction moving forward. Number two would be to pull out completely and terminate the transaction based on what we found if we're unhappy with the results of our inspection. You would then also get your earnest money back that you had deposited into escrow. Number three is to opt to ask the seller for the additional days that we've requested on our initial inspection contingency to go ahead and have some vendors come in and help assess costs and workload that you may need to know more about. And the fourth response would be to ask the seller for any repairs or modifications to the home or the transaction. If you choose to ask the seller for repairs or modifications, you may ask the seller to repair or replace any issue that you may have found wrong with the home. You may also ask the seller to cover closing costs for you as the buyer in the amount estimated of the repair or replacement of whatever item that you are discussing with the seller. This would be a scenario that you would then take care of the repairs or replacement of whatever items on your own after closing. You could also ask the seller for a reduction in purchase price based on what you have found, or a combination of any three of these options based on the evidence that you have gathered from vendors, your inspector, and discussions with your realtor. Personally, I'm a big fan of asking for closing costs in lieu of repairs for my buyers, and the reason is, is having a seller cover some of those closing costs for you at closing enables you to keep some money in your pocket that you in turn can use for those repairs later. So now that we have given our requests to the seller, they have three days based on our inspection contingency indication to go ahead and reply to our requests. The first option for the seller is that they go ahead and agree to the repairs and modifications that you've requested. If that's the case, then the inspection contingency has been deemed satisfied and you're moving on in your transaction. The second option is for them to fully reject your requests for repairs and modifications. Or their third option is to reject the requests for repairs and modifications that you made and come up with their own list of a compromise or things that they are willing to do for you. Once we get the seller's response, we have three days as indicated on our inspection contingency for us to reply to them. And this third round really is the final round for you to have to negotiate based on your inspection. Our first option of response is to go ahead and agree with whatever the seller has indicated in their response to us. 
If we do agree to move forward, then the transaction is moving forward. Number two would be to reject the seller's response entirely, terminate the agreement and get your earnest money back and go look for another home. Or number three, you can go ahead and reject the seller's proposal that they've given to you in their response and offer another solution. However, this is when things can get a bit dicey and you must pay attention to your timelines. If you do not come to a written agreement with the seller about the modifications and you do not go ahead and rescind your offer and terminate the agreement because of the inspection within the time frame allotted on our inspection contingency, then you potentially waive your inspection contingency and then the seller doesn't have to do anything. So it's very, very important to pay attention to your timelines. And this is an even bigger reason why it's so important to work with a good agent that understands the addendums and knows the timelines to help you keep your money protected. These are the times in the transactions that things can get very, very technical. And if you don't have somebody that's on top of it, walking you through it, things could possibly get missed. If you're getting ready to buy a house or you've got questions about anything that we just talked about regarding your inspection response, I would be happy to go ahead and explain anything to you in further detail. Please go ahead and do not hesitate to reach out to me directly. I do hope that you find this information helpful and valuable. If so, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and be sure to check back again with me next week.